Well, for many, many months, I've had many of you asking to do a video on a jigsaw. And so today, that's exactly what we're going to do. Before we get into the video, I want to remind our subscribers and maybe the people that are new subscribers, almost every one of our videos, I write an article on Woodwork Web uh, about this video. And you can always find it in the description box just underneath this video. It'll say um, full article here and that link will take you directly to Woodwork Web. So if you've got questions and I'm not able to get back to you in time uh, or if I'm delayed for some reason, that's a quick way that might answer the questions that you have. Now let's get on to the jigsaw. Let's start off by taking a quick look at the features of most saws. Uh, first of all, usually somewhere close to the switch there will be a speed control for the motor and that will control the speed of the motor. Of course every one will have a switch, an on off switch. Many of them you will be able to lock on with this one. You push that button and that locks the, the little button up. To release it you just touch it again and it pops down and of course the motor turns off. Most of them will have some kind of a dust chute. They're not terribly effective but uh, every little bit helps. The way the blades go in, a lot of them now have a quick release and we're going to show you more about that in a moment. Uh, but another thing that is a feature of a lot of these is they have a uh, an angle adjustment for the blade. So the blade, you can move it back and forth and if there's a little lever close to the blade, if you watch carefully, that blade, as I move this down, that blade will move forward just ever so slightly. I can get it the right way. Try it there, you can see it. Just a little bit. And we're going to talk more about that and, and why that lever is there. Uh, and what it does is if you move that blade forward just a little bit, it basically speeds up the cutting. Another feature that many jigsaws have is a control that allows you to tilt the base. And some of them, depending on how they lock down and the pressure that you're putting on it when you're using it, they can get out of alignment. And what that means is that the, the base is not, or that the blade, I guess, is not perpendicular to the base. So you need to check from time to time to make sure that the base is set on zero, or you may want to even use a uh, square to make sure that your blade is perpendicular otherwise you get angled cuts. And that's the features of a jigsaw. There's really not that much to it and of course we always are unplugged when we are uh, switching blades with any of these power tools. There are two basic blades available for jigsaws. This type here is called a U-connection or a U-adapter type. This is an older type. I don't even know if they're making, if anybody makes jigsaws that use this anymore, but there are thousands of older ones that use this. Most of the new jigsaws use what they call a T-connection or a T-adapter uh, or a T-jigsaw. And if you look at that, um, from where I'm looking, it looks a little bit like a T. If you look at that, maybe you could imagine that's a T. They call that a T-connection. So that's the two basic um, types of uh, jigsaw blades. And I'm going to show you right now how you can tell, if you have a jigsaw, how you can tell whether your jigsaw will take this one or it will take this one. Here's a side view of our jigsaw and most of these T type of blades, let me turn it around so you can see it, most of these T kinds of blades use what they call a quick release or a quick install and they just simply go in and some of them are are so good they'll just actually push in this one I actually need to turn this little lever a little bit and it goes in and it 
there it is, and it locks in there. Now, that's the kind of adapter that these T blades use. Now, if you have a U type blade, where did I put the U blade? There it is there. If you have a U type blade like this at the top, what you will be looking for on your jigsaw, this where this adapter is a little bar right now, what will happen where this blade slides in, there will be a little there will be some kind of a screw, uh, a, a set screw or a flat blade screw that will you'll actually need a screwdriver or a Allen wrench to install this kind of a of a blade. That's how you tell whether you have a you need a U type blades or T type blades. If you need a screwdriver to install it, you will need to use the U type blades in most cases. There are many different kinds of blades that you can get for jigsaws. The most common one, of course, is the wood blade. There is a coarse version. There's also a fine version, which this is. And then you can also get specialty blades. For example, this is a metal blade for cutting through different kinds of softer metals. And this is a blade, a fine cut blade. You'll notice that it's very narrow and it's for doing scrolling. So if you need to cut circles, tight circles and that sort of thing, that's the kind of blade that you would use for that. One of the things that I like about jigsaws is they'll cut all sorts of different kinds of materials and different thicknesses from thin three quarter inch to, in this case, I'm going to cut through some two inch material. And I've selected this on purpose. It's plywood, but I want you to see just how rough these saws can be. Now I have a wood cutting blade and it's the coarse one, but I just want you to see how coarse these blades will cut. And you can see that that's pretty pretty rough cutting on that. And it wouldn't matter if you were cross cutting whether it's plywood or another wood. It's going to give you a pretty rough cut. Now one of the reasons that you get such a rough cut, if you look at the teeth on this blade, you notice that they're all oriented up. And that's the case on almost every a jigsaw blade that you will buy is the teeth are oriented up and the reason for that there's the base of the saw there the reason that these teeth are oriented up is because it wants to cut against the base of the saw if the teeth were pointing down what would happen is it would tend to want to move the saw out of the wood so it would be very hard to hold on to it well, now I'm going to show you a trick that I've never seen anywhere else. So if you're watching this, it might be the first time you've ever seen something like this. When it comes to chipping out using a jake saw, here's something I want you to note. Now, right here I have a circular saw. And any of you who have a circular saw will know that when you turn it on, and this one is unplugged, the blade orients in this way and that means underneath the wood when you're cutting say a piece of plywood the wood underneath is gives a nice clean cut but because the blade is flipping up like this remember the jigsaw blade is also the teeth are also orientate oriented up the chip out on say cutting a sheet of plywood is always on the top so if you want a nice clean cut on top of your plywood, you typically flip it over with this kind of a saw. Guess what? You do the same thing with the jigsaw. Watch what happens when we do that. So here's our piece of wood and there's all the chip out that we've had, but watch this. We're going to flip it over. Now I need to take a second here to 
make this secure to the bench. So Look at that for a clean cut. Let me take this down so you can see the back, the other side. Look at that. There's the two sides. And look at how clean, look at how clean those cuts are. And that's, let me show you that blade again. That's the rough, that rough cut blade. And that's what it does. So there's a trick for getting a nice, clean cut, even with a jigsaw blade. Now the last little trick I'm going to show you is how to cut a hole in a flat surface without having to drill holes. Maybe you have a vent, for example, in your floor that you want to put a new vent in. If you, what you can do is drill holes just big enough that the blade can drop in, but I'm going to show you how you can do that without even drilling a hole. And that is to turn the jigsaw on its side like this. Now this particular jigsaw, there's quite a distance from the very toe to where the blade rides, so it's a little bit more difficult with this one, but it can be done. And if your jigsaw is like that and you need to drill a hole or cut a hole in a flat surface with one like this that has a little bit further reach here what you need to do is drag it along just a little bit along the line that you would be cutting and it will go in so let's show you how that works Pretty simple. And you know, I think this is one of the unsung heroes of the workshop. You know, it's such a handy little tool. I keep mine wrapped up with the cord bundled up with one of those little uh, wrap things. And I keep it handy because I'm surprised how often I use it. I just keep it in the cupboard above my sliding miter saw and I know exactly where it is. Don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed, we ask you to do that. Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web, and don't forget, uh, we've got lots and lots of videos coming your way, so uh, stay tuned uh, to see what we've got coming next.